Today's video is a public service announcement. This is for those of us that like to make coffee. The coffee maker never has water in it. So this is a video on how to fill the Keurig. And I want you to share this video with anybody who doesn't ever fill the Keurig with water and it leads to a life of frustration. Now, if you never filled the Keurig, this is for you to understand. It's not an enchanted coffee maker. It doesn't magically fill up with water by itself. It's not like Jesus comes down from heaven and says, more water, and boom, there's more water. And you're probably thinking, oh, every time I come down, it always has water in it. So why do I need to fill it? It's because I have to fill it up all the time. Every time I come and make a cup of coffee, there's no water in it. And it drives me crazy. I would like to come down one day and make coffee and not have to put water in the Keurig. So here's how to do it. So step number one, you're gonna need a container, a vessel, something to put fluid into. It doesn't have to be this big. Something like this would work. You just gotta make a couple more trips. So you need a container. Now, amazingly, there's a invention that's called a faucet. Magically, it makes water come into your home or office. All you have to do is lift this. Step number two, you're gonna put the water from the faucet into the jug. Okay, so the third step, and I think this is the most challenging step for those that don't fill the Keurig, is actually putting the water into it. You see, there's like this hidden door here that you can almost not even see. Like it should say open on here in big letters, but if you lift here, it magically comes off. And now you have access to the water reservoir that's depleted and needs more water. The third and final step is to carefully pour the water into the Keurig. Look at that. Now you have to stop when you hit about here. There's a marking in there that says max, but you probably can't see that. Look at that. Now this part might be tricky. We gotta put the lid back on. And it, it kind of follows the shape of the Keurig, like this. Not like this, like this. And just like that, we can make more coffee. So if you got somebody in your house or your office or your place of business that never fills a Keurig, this is for them. Make sure you share this video. And if you wanna call them out, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.